What is up everybody, Circle Flex is here, we're taking a look at Advent Calendar Day 10 today. We're first, first going to take a look at EU. Uh, what do we have in store? Oh god, the Panzer 2J. Uh, this used to be, used to be, a really special tank, because you can only get it if you pre-ordered World Tanks or bought like a special edition pack from Russia. Uh, and you could use those codes on your EU and, and I think NA accounts as well. Um, this is how some people got it on the EU. It costs literally a fortune, like 200, like 200 plus euros probably. Uh, and you had to go through the trouble of getting it all the way from Russia to your doorstep. Uh, so it was a lot of hassle. I actually got one from a viewer. Same with the same thing with the BTS fee. And uh, once you see the Benzo 2J, you're all going to think of like hilarious jingles videos and maybe even highlights from me. I'm not even sure if I put up any highlights. Because I've had it for a while, I've had it for like a year or two. Um, and everybody always thinks like, oh it's so OP, it's so good. Because like all you'll see on the internet are the games where like a Pencil 2J kills like 10 people because the hilarious tomatoes cannot pet it. But let me bring you back to real reality a little bit. Because if you meet any people that have a, have a clue at tier 3, they will be able to pet you. And if you meet your tier 4s, uh, you're basically fucked. Uh, it's super slow, uh, the gun is shite, it's all about the armor, and having people that you fight against uh, be really bad. So it's not really a good tank to have, regardless of what you might think and what you might have seen, it is not worthwhile getting it like this. Alright, for these 100 euros, you're better off buying any of the Berlin Geo tanks. Uh, you could literally buy almost... All of those Berlin tanks, all of them except for the ISU, which I wouldn't really recommend. Um, and you'd be way better off than spending a hundred bucks. And you get the gold for it, and you get a bonus Benson 2J in carriage slot. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't say it's worth it. The only reason I could see anyone buying this, if you really wanted the Benson 2J all of your entire life, or if you were already gonna buy a hundred euros worth of gold. Otherwise, I would stay clear of this one, honestly. It is not what it's hyped up to be. Same thing with the BTSV. They're not really that good. They used to be really rare, but nowadays they're not even rare anymore. So that vanity is kind of gone. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at America. And I noticed they don't have a special right now. But if you go to the main website, like the main, main page here, if it would load... Uh, it says our near nine ring gear tanks have, are about to fly away, which means that all of the da things they've sold are available for another two days, uh, starting uh, today until Saturday, and then from Saturday onwards, there's going to be a, uh, different daily specials again. So you can buy any of the things you might have missed out on, or you might have seen my video too late. Um, I can already tell you which you want to get. You don't want to get the BTSV one at all. You definitely don't want the T4485M. This is the whole reason why I started these videos. Is so you can, so you're not buying this. <laughs> uh, you might want to buy the tier 4. It's not really my thing to buy a tier 4 that has no limited matchmaking. And only has a gun and it's pretty slow. And no armor. So, But you know, some people will like this. It's just not really my thing at all. Uh, the ISU 122S is not worth it in my opinion. You're better off buying a 122.44 on discount later on during the holidays at 30% off and it's a way better deal than this even even with the good crew you get in these things the comet i highly recommend is one of my favorite tanks in the game uh even though it's a bit odd that they sell this with gold and they sell the rudy without gold but whatever the rudy also recommend and i recommend the is2 as well basically because they're unnerved tanks that make money and give you extra xp <clears throat> Uh, the W10 111 I don't really recommend either. And the FE201, I've already said a lot of things about, but for me personally, I don't really like it. But if you really need a heavy tank for the uh, heavy tank crew trainer for the British, then it is better than the tier 5 that you can always buy. So you might want to get it. But in all honesty, uh, yeah, I wouldn't really bother with it. I would like, I, I recommend the Comet, the IS2, the Rudy. Uh, and to a lesser extent, you might want to get the tier 4 here. I would definitely not get the BTSV. I would definitely not get the T4485M. 
and the other ones are kind of up to your up to you because of you know I don't like I really don't think the ISU 122s is competitive at all. I, I really don't think you should get it. Um, the W set is basically is is you know it's all right it has preferential matchmaking. Uh, it's very similar to the one uh, one one twelve uh, one twelve you can buy. Uh, it's only slightly different. It has a bike nose instead of the flat thing, so stuff like that. Low plate still weak across the board here. And this one, like I said, if you really want it, you know, you should probably get it if you want a crew trainer and stuff like. It's not a really bad tank. It's not really what I say. It's a really good premium tank either. But this this one is kind of up to you. So there you go. That's for NA. You got two days to decide on this one. And then for Asia, we have. Oh, this package. We already seen this one. Yep, we already seen this one. I'm not gonna fall for it this time, people. Um, basically, what they've done is they add all of this the intense gambling drive, the vertical stab, uh, and they convert this as if it was money. So. You, if you would buy this with like gold and stuff, it would cost you like 60 uh, euros, right? And then it's 24% off, bringing it back to 46 or $50. Uh, the problem is, um, you're also paying for a garage slot, and a lot of people might already have garage slots available. You know, it's not unlikely. Seeing as they're like half off a lot of the times, and you might sell like a shitty tier fee you never end up playing. And, uh, you know, put the tank in. And it... In all of those cases, buying the T44 at 15% off later in the holiday is a better life choice than buying it like this. I do not recommend you spending more money for cre for things you can earn with credits. Alright? Um, this is all obtainable with credits. Alright? And they count that towards their epic special. So it's 60 euros. It's not. It's like, it's 45 euros and some credits. That's what it is. It's not 60 euros. Come on, man. So, do not fall for this one. Would not recommend. Buy it once it's on sale, when all the tier 8s are on sale. And, you know, and especially if you already have a garage slot, uh, then it becomes an even better deal to just wait it out and wait for this 15% off. Even though this looks like 24%, you should not, you should not get it. Alright, so this was Advent Calendar Day 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for Festus Day 11, obviously. Um, and tomorrow I'll also be live streaming for those who don't know and still come up with my videos. I live stream Rumble Tanks every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from uh, 5 till midnight CET time. So 1700 hours till midnight. Uh, hope to see you guys there. And you know, you might want to check some other videos on my YouTube channel. I've We were almost at 55k last I checked subs. So that's really awesome. I think we gained about a thousand doing these videos. Somewhere along those lines, like 800 to 1,000. So really happy with that. Glad you guys are enjoying the new videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.